Hello friends, welcome to my channel Smart Solutions. Today we will learn about the quadrilaterals. So first, what is meant by quadrilateral? So any diagram or any shape which is made up of the four sides, it is known as the quadrilateral like this. Suppose these are the four lines, one, two, three, and four, and we will name this diagram A, B, C, D. So we will write the name of quadrilateral like this: quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So then there are the different types of quadrilateral. So types of quadrilateral. First is the parallelogram. Then second one is the rhombus. Third one is the square. Fourth one is the rectangle. Fifth one is the kite, etc. These are the type of quadrilateral. So we will learn one by one type of quadrilateral with their example. So we will learn the first type that is the parallelogram and the properties of the parallelogram. This is the parallelogram. We will name this diagram P Q R S. So the name of parallelogram is or the quadrilateral is quadrilateral P Q R S or parallelogram P Q R S. So what are the properties of parallelogram? See the side P Q and side S. Are. These are the equal sides. Means first property of parallelogram is uh, opposite sides of the parallelogram are equal. So we will write uh, like this side first is PQ is parallel to the side SR or we can write like this side PQ is equal to side SR then which is the second side PS and QR these two opposite sides are also parallel so side PS is parallel to the side Q R or we can write like this side P S is equal to side Q R. So what is the first property of the parallelogram? The opposite sides of parallelogram are parallel or equal to each other. The next property of parallelogram is about the angles. The opposite angles of parallelogram are equal. What are the angles of the parallelogram? Angle B, angle S, angle R and angle Q. So we will write like this. Angle B is equal to which angle? This is angle P and this is angle R. So P and R. These are the opposite angles. So angle P is equal to which angle? Angle R. The next angle is angle Q and angle S. So angle Q is equal to angle S. So this is the second property. What is the third property of the parallelogram? Suppose these are the diagonals. These are the diagonals of the parallelogram. These diagonals are bisect to each other in one point. We will write the name of that point is O. Suppose O. So the diagonals of the parallelogram are bisect to each other in any one point. These are the three properties of the parallelogram. So this is the first example. This is the parallelogram in which you have to find the values of x, y, and z. Right? So uh, we will give the name this parallelogram A, B, C, and D. First, before uh, solve the example, you have to write the given things. So, what is the given in this example? First of all, this is the parallelogram, right? So, in parallelogram or in quadrilateral, what is the name of this parallelogram? A, B, C, D. In quadrilateral, A, B, C, D. What is given? Angle C is given. 
angle C is equal to how much? It is the 100 degree, right? And you have to find out what angle A, angle B, and angle D, that is Y, Z, and X. These values we have to find. So to find what? To find what? X, angle X, angle Y, and angle Z. That is what? Angle A, angle B, and angle D. So, we learn the first property of the parallelogram. What is that property? The opposite sides of the parallelogram are equal. And what is the second property? The opposite angles of parallelogram are equal. Hence, what? Angle C is equal to angle A. And angle B is equal to angle D. So, and one more property of quadrilateral is the sum of angle of the sum of all angles of quadrilateral is equal to how much? 360 degree. So first, angle C is equal to what? Angle A. Why? Because opposite angles of parallelogram. And that angles are equal. So, what is the angle C? Angle C is equal to 100 degree. That will be equal to angle A. So, we can write like this. Angle A is equal to 100 degree. So, now we have to find out what measurement of angle B. That is the Z and measurement of angle D. That is the X. So, we know the uh, property that is the sum of all angles of quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree. So, sum of all angles of quadrilateral is equal to how much? It is equal to 360 degree. Right? So, first, what are the different angles of this parallelogram? Angle A plus next is angle B plus angle C plus angle D which is equal to how much? 360 degree. So we know the measurement of angle A and angle C. What is that? It is 100 degree and angle C is equal to also 100 degree. Then what is the angle B? Angle B is Z. Right? Or you can write the angle B plus plus angle D is what? S which is equal to 360 degree. Now we can write like this angle B is equal to angle D. Why? Because the opposite angles of the parallelogram are equal. So uh, instead of writing Z, we can write also X. So 100 degree plus X plus 100 degree plus X is equal to 360 degree. Why? X is equal to Z. Why it is like, there, uh, like that? Because opposite angles of parallelogram are equal. So, 100 plus 100 it is 200 degree. X plus X it is 2X which is equal to 360 degree. So, we have to find out the value of 2x. So, 2x is equal to this 100 will be go in this side and it will be minus 360 minus how much? 200 degree. So, 360 minus 200 is equal to 160 degree which is equal to 2x. So, now we will find the value of x, right? So, 2x that is 2 into x. So, 2 will be go in this side and it will be divided, right? x is equal to 160 degree divided by 2, right? 2 ones are 2, 2 eights are 60. This 0 is like this. So, value of x is equal to how much? 80 degree. Now, here we mentioned that x is equal to z. Why? Because of the opposite angles of quadrilateral or parallelogram are equal. So, x is equal to 80 degree means Z is also 
80 degree that is angle B is also 80. So the values of first Z is equal to how much? 80 degree. Then X is equal to 80 degree and, uh, and Y is equal to how much? It is 100 degree. Next example. In this example, in given parallelogram, uh, you have to find the values of x, y and z. So, this is the parallelogram in which these two opposite sides are parallel to each other. And what is given? The angle is equal to 50. So, I will give the name to this parallelogram A, B, C and D. Hmm? So, what is given? You have to write first given things. Given angle A is equal to how much? 50 degree, right? Then we have to find what to find values of what angle X, angle Y and angle Z. So we know the property of parallelogram. The opposite angles of parallelogram are equal. So angle A is equal to what angle C and angle B is equal to angle D. So angle A is equal to angle C. Why? Because opposite angles of quadrilateral or parallelogram are equal. So value of angle A is 50 degree which is equal to angle C. That means we can write that this angle C is equal to how much? 50 degree. Then the next is what? The sum of all angles of parallelogram or quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree. So these are the two opposite angles, right? So uh, we can write like this sum of all angles of quadrilateral or parallelogram is equal to 360 degree. So, what are the angles of this parallelogram? Angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degree. So, value of angle A is 50 degree. Angle B is what? X plus angle C is 50 degree. And angle D is what? The value of we have to find out the value of y, which is equal to 360 degree. So we can write like this, x and y are the equal, these two are equal, why? Because these are the two opposite angles of the parallelogram, which are equal. So 50 degree plus x plus 50 degree plus, instead of y, we can write the x, which is equal to 360 degree. Why? Because opposite angles of parallelogram are equal. So 50 plus 50 is equal to 100 degree and x plus x is equal to how much? 2x which is equal to 360 degree. So 2x is equal to what? 360 minus 100. 360 degree minus 100 degree which is equal to how much? 160. Sorry. Which is equal to 260 degree. So, we can find out the value of x. So, x is equal to 260 degree divided by 2. Right? 2 1 is 2. 2 1 is 2. 2 3 is 6 and 6. So, value of x is equal to how much? 130 degree. That is y is equal to how much? 130 degree. Because opposite angles of parallelogram Now we have to find out the value of what? Z. So the side AD and side BC are the parallel line uh, because it is the opposite sides of the parallel line. Side AD 
is parallel to the side DC. So now you can see this side DC. It is intersecting to the side AD and side BC. So this inter this intersecting line uh, we can say that it is a transversal line. So side DC is transversal line. And the angle formed because of this transversal line, this angle Y and angle Z are the alternate angles and alternate angles of the transversal lines are equal. So, the measurement of angle Y is equal to measurement of angle Z and we already find out the value of Y. So, angle Y is equal to angle Z because alternate angles of alternate angles of transversal line. So because of this transversal line, angle Y and angle Z are equal. So we uh, already find the value of angle Y. It is how much? 130 degree which is equal to angle Z. But we can uh, write like this angle Z is equal to how much? 130 degree. So, in last we can write like this angle X is equal to 130 degree, then angle Y is equal to 130 degree, and angle Z is equal to also 130 degree. I hope you understand this all concepts. For more videos and more updates, subscribe our channel Smart Solution. Thank you.